Terrible news for a Lincoln business to wake up to today. A group of burglars drove away with about $80,000. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Ashley Springman has more details in our top story. Yes, four company cars were taken from this very lot, leaving one local business at a loss. Surveillance video captured a Lincoln business losing $80,000. That's what Great Place Properties near 48th and Calvert in Lincoln is out after thieves stole four of their company vehicles. When something like this happens in an area where there's very little crime normally, uh, it's hard to understand. But, you know, there are people out there obviously that uh, don't care about other people. Lynn Fisher, owner and general manager of Great Place Properties, noted it's not just a monetary loss of the vehicles that affects his business, but their ability to transport equipment and properly serve their customers was also hindered. He continues to work with Lincoln Police to recover their stolen property. It's really hard to believe, you know, Lincoln, I'm from Lincoln and, and you know, I've always felt it was a, a great place to live and do business. It's very, very disheartening when something like this happens. The stolen vehicles include two white Dodge Ram vans, a gray Ford van, and a gray Ford pickup. There was no forced entry, so the burglars are believed to have access to the garage key. However, none of their equipment or trailers were taken, which Lynn noted as odd. Of course, they are upset after being a target of a crime, but are determined to keep business going as usual. I think it's still, you know, a great neighborhood. We're not, we're not going to be, uh, you know, changing our attitude about the neighborhood. We think uh, Lincoln in general and, and the College View neighborhood is still a, a great place. Again, this is an ongoing investigation. So if you have any more information or spot one of these vehicles in the area, please contact Lincoln Police at 441-6000. Reporting near Calvert and 48th Street. I'm Ashley Springman, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.